Hey everyone, my name is Rebecca and I'm the Midnight Soaper because I'm notorious for making soap in the middle of the night. I already have my colors out here and I'm putting them on the screen. I've got my oils in betters melted already. Uh, I struggled just a little bit with this batter as you will see here shortly. Um, but I hope you do enjoy me making this rhubarb uh, strawberry soap. I'm getting ready to put my lye and water solution in here. It does have a tiny bit of lye lint, so I am going to strain it just to get any of that out. Sometimes you will get lye lint if you leave your um, solution setting for a little bit too long, and mine was sitting in the cool garage. So I'm burping my blender now, and I'm going to mix this together. Um, this for some reason got really thick on me. Um, I think it had a lot to do with, I wasn't usually used to working with shea butter and I used shea butter because I ran out of my palm oil. Um, plus I'm used to a round container and this is square and I just feel like I struggled the whole time to get this smooth and I had to stick blend a lot, which in return turned out to be a thicker batter of soap. But I'm adding in now my um, goat's milk, and normally I put this in with my oils and butters before putting the lye in, but for some reason I added it after I got to Trace, and I'm not really 100% why on this when I did that, but I did. But it still works. I just sometimes think it mixes better when you put it with your oils and butters. And that could be why this thickened up on me so bad. But I'm going to now pour a little bit of the batter into um, my colors here in just a second. Um, my colors are mixed with just a little bit of jojoba oil. And so I'm going to pour a little of that off into my containers. And I needed less of the color than I'll be using of the white. So I just have the little measuring cups containers. And then over in the smaller container, I just wanted a tiny bit um, of gold. So and I just put in a little bit of titanium dioxide. You really do have to stick blend that to get it to be white. If you just mix it with the, your spatula, it's not going to turn out as wide as it can be. Also, if you mix too much water with your titanium dioxide, you will sometimes get glycerin rubbers, so be careful of that. That time, I think I mixed just a tiny bit too much water, even though it didn't seem like I put much in. I do end up getting just a couple of glycerin rubbers. But I normally don't stir near this much, but I had to stir and stir. I just felt like I was not getting a smooth consistency that I'm used to. But I'm adding in my strawberry rhubarb fragrance here. Um, sometimes your fragrance too can thicken it up. Um, a lot of times floral scents are really good to work with. They don't speed up traces much um so i usually I, I love working with florals but just stick blending that out a little and for this soap it really didn't matter as much that it was so thick but i really would have liked it a little bit thinner so a lot of times you have to change your game plan when you're making soap you may have one thing in your mind and when it thickens up you just have to work fast and quick on your toes and make it work um, but putting this into my mold and this is actually just a mold that I got uh, at Hobby Lobby it was actually like a little container with a lid on it and the lid latches and everything and it makes the perfect size bars for um, the the standard soap boxes now I'm just gonna mix in, mix up my color. Like I said, you do get so much better. I could have just stopped after the mixing on these, but you get a truer color when you stick blend these. But I'm mixing these and putting the 
fragrance in with them. Um, so like I said, it's best to put the fragrance in last in case it speeds up trace. But I'm just mixing these. Um, and like I said, I normally never mix this much, but I really had to. Now, I just have a smaller thing of the gold because if you use too much, uh, mix too much in with your gold, it was sticking to the bottom there. But if you mix in too much with your gold, it's not going to be a vibrant gold like you want. So I just wanted just a little bit of the soap batter in with the gold so it was nice and pretty gold. And then I'm just going to stick blend these just a tiny bit um, to get that color good and incorporated. I love the little soap mold for this, you know, being the perfect size for the soap boxes, but I'm actually getting ready to get a bigger mold with um, a uh, log splitter, whatever you want to call it, um, here shortly. I made a little homemade one, which you, you will see soon, but it's just not going to be as good as getting, you know, professional one. But since this did thicken up on me quite a bit, I did, like I said, have to change my game plan. So, um try to pour this and it doesn't really pour like I want it to. I wanted it to be a lot more fluid. Didn't work out. Also my temperatures were a lot cooler. I should have had my temperatures a lot warmer. Um but like I said sometimes you just have to go with the flow and make it work. I find that even when things don't go as planned a lot of times, most of the time, you still end up with a really pretty soap in the end. So I'm just spooning in. And I don't know why in the world I did not just pick that cup up and spoon. I must have had something else in my other hand because it would have been so much quicker and easier. Well, there. There I go. I'm doing it now. Finally starting to use my brain. <laughs> um, on this video, I was not going to do a voiceover. I was talking and I think I was talking way too much and that was actually making me work slower and I think that resulted in a thicker batter as well but I went and banged that down on the ground a little bit get any air bubbles out come back to put some more layers on there um yeah when you for some reason I just cannot talk and work without it slowing me down so much that my batter thickens up. So I just had so many different things going against me with this batter of soap. Um, but you'll see, I think it still turned out pretty good. So I'm just finishing up putting in that um, different layers on there. Gonna um, I had forgot about the gold for a second, and I was like, oh no, I forgot to put it on. But it turned out cute the way it was just at the top. But I had planned on putting it, but you know, a little bit between each layer, and I had forgot. So here I'm putting it on at the end, just kind of on the top in the middle. And the best way, a lot of times, the way to learn, you know, when you are. A new soap maker is from other people's mistakes so I went and banged that down again the more you bang it down this you know smoother it's gonna be and less air bubbles um, and all the light the layer layers will incorporate but um, seeing my mistakes hopefully will help other people learn too uh, you know, like I said, the, the cooler temperatures worked against me. Um, using a different better than I was used to. Using a different container. A lot of times when you get used to something, stick with it. Because if it works, it, well, as far as containers. I mean, you can try different recipes and things for your soap I mean that's always fun to do but if you find like a container that works or a spatula that works or some you know that works great for you stick with it um but 
banging it down again. And now I'm just trying to decide what to do to the top. So a lot of times I like a top smooth and flat. Sometimes I like it, you know, a little rough looking and just kind of um, here and there. And so that's what I end up doing with this one. Just kind of making little divots in with my spatula and kind of blend in those colors so it's just not blobs of color on top. If it would have been not quite so thick, I may have ended up just making a smooth flat top. But, and then I can't decide. I keep thinking it's gonna be muddled if I go back through it and I just can't never leave well enough alone. So, I decide to go back in and then go back up, which I'm glad that I did that because it kind of made it blend a little bit better and it didn't turn out really like a muddled look or anything. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, we are finished. Just stick around for the cut. Okay, so we are back for the cut. Um, I think the colors turned out really pretty. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Even though I was scared that the gold would turn out a little bit yellow, um, I was hoping it didn't, and it didn't. So, you can see the colors. They look really pretty. Um, nice little swirl on the top, and all those little edges along the side, I will be trimming off when I plain and bevel the soap. But let's um, see how this goes. I always like to take a little end piece off first because um, it never looks as pretty before I show the final result. And there you have it. I couldn't find the camera very good at first, but <laughs> there we are. Got a couple of, just a couple of glycerin rivers. I didn't think I used too much water in my titanium dioxide, but I did. I must have used just a little bit too much. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this cut. So, cutting the rest, so just enjoy and just be patient with me on these videos. This is my first one. Hopefully, the rest will get better as I go. Um, but I hope you continue watching um, because I plan on making lots more soap and maybe some more bath and body products. But make sure you subscribe and like, and I will see you all next time. Thanks and bye-bye.